Good afternoon, everybody. Um, hope everyone, happy Friday. Hope everyone has a happy, healthy, safe weekend, uh, whatever you're doing. Um, we're getting closer to spring, daylight savings time. Unfortunately, we lose an hour of sleep, so that stinks, but whatever. We're almost to better weather, and hopefully uh, the COVID-19 situation starts becoming more, uh, you know, more subsiding, which we're getting there. It's a little long, a little late ago, but we're getting there. Um, I want to talk about the New York Rangers, and it's time for a change. Um, I, I wasn't expecting this team to make the cup or make a serious championship run, but we've gotten our asses kicked the last three nights. And maybe not so much the second night. That was just a brutal, brutal loss. Uh, we just had bad lapses in the wrong moments. I mean, we gave up a first period. Uh, we were up one nothing, and then uh, um, we gave up a, a, a late garbage goal. Uh, to tie the game, then we get sloppy on the power play and give up a shorthanded goal, and then give up a late goal in the second period, and then we fought back and fought back to to try to tie it. And Tristan Jari stole the game from us on on uh, Tuesday. Um, Sunday was just a, an absolute disaster. Uh, they they allow three goals in a minute. I understand Pittsburgh's explosive, but still, that's just bad mental lapses. And um, and Georgiev got pulled, and rightfully so. And he got pulled last night when we really got our asses kicked. I mean, it was an embarrassment by the Boston Bruins yesterday. Four to nothing. I mean, and Georgiev got pulled in that game, and his confidence is shot. So uh, we need, Shosturski needs to come back. I actually, I admired Keith Kincaid's uh, performance. I think he really tried to keep the game, team in the game. Uh, but it's time for David Quinn to go. This coach is not the right fit. He's got to go. He's, he's got to go. He's got to be out. He, and um, he, the fact of the matter is, is the Rangers, in my opinion, are underachieving this year. There's talent on this team. Um, they've shown it. They've played some great games this year. But they've also had way too many mental lapses, and that falls on the shoulders of David Quinn. I don't think he's pairing uh, the lines. He's not pairing them very well. Um, he really shouldn't have started Georgiev last night. Kincaid played a lot better despite the garbage goals than, than Georgiev had. He sh Kincaid should have gotten the start last night against the Bruins, and he didn't. Um, I just don't think David Quinn's cut out to be the coach of the uh, coach of the New York Rangers. I, I really don't. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do. I know they're gonna ride him out this year. He's probably gonna get at least the start of next year. But I, I don't like the way he he's not getting enough out of this team. He's not pairing the players right. Um, there's something that needs to be fixed, and we're not. And I, and my, as far as I'm concerned, we're done this year. We're not making the playoffs. These last three games are a harsh reminder that this team is is just. We need more meat and potatoes on the third and fourth line. We need centers that can win freaking faceoffs. That's a joke. My God, we can't win a faceoff. Jeez. But anyways, um, the team is still underperforming in my eyes. Um, you know, we got Kreider's picked up his play a bit, but still, the bottom line is they should be. Um, they're they're giving up too many bad goals. They're having too many late lapses. Uh, the power play was extremely sloppy lately. I mean, they they could have given up two shorthanded goals yesterday, and they gave up one against the Bruins. Could have given up two more. The game could have been seven to nothing yesterday. So it's time to look at David Quinn and realize. He he might have been the guy a couple years ago when the Rangers had no intention of winning, but we're getting close to starting to become a contender again. He's got to go. It's time to bring in a coach who's been who's been around the block a bit. Um, I don't know if Mike Babcock is that guy. Um, maybe they the guy from the Vegas. I'm, I'm unfortunately I can't think of his name. I know he recently got let go by the Golden Knights. Maybe we give him a look. But bottom line is David Quinn is not the right guy. Um, I just wanted to get that off my chest, and I hope everyone has a good weekend. Take care.